manufacturing in the Caribbean. The Caribbean is located in the tropics. The Caribbean was once owned solely by European powers. After slavery ended in 1838 and the gradual transformation from sugar cane production, with the aid of modernization and industrialization came diversification of the manufacturing industries throughout the Caribbean. This share looks primarily at the multiple factors influencing manufacturing in the Caribbean. The manufacturing process is a complex one that can be impacted by many factors, supplies, equipment, factory overhead, the need for special parts, and the people who work at all points in the process. The more variables there are, the greater the possibility of disruption to the smooth operations of a factory. Management styles can also have a positive or negative impact on this process. Manufacturing requires several components some of which have been listed above. For some countries throughout the Caribbean specific components are required. Example in Trinidad focuses on the manufacturing of petroleum and petroleum products, liquefied natural gas, LNG, methanol, ammonia, urea, steel products, beverages, cereal and cereal products, sugar, cocoa, coffee, citrus fruit, vegetables, flowers. For Jamaica, agro-processing, light manufactures, rum, cement, metal, paper and chemical products. As it relates to the Eastern Caribbean countries, agribusiness and manufacturing are traditional sectors are the primary focus of their manufacturing sector. Multiple businesses in the Eastern Caribbean are being developed in the creative sectors. MSMEs which are evolving in the fashion, craft, film of music industry needed dedicated assistance. The ex-competitive business unit has been working with industry experts as well as governments and business support organizations at a regional and international level to help develop the creative businesses ecosystem in the Eastern Caribbean. Programs implemented to support these businesses have been mainly funded by the 10th European Development Fund. Cuba is also heavily involved in manufacturing. Cuba's focus surrounds petroleum, nickel, cobalt, pharmaceuticals, tobacco, construction, steel, cement, agricultural machinery, sugar. Haiti on the other hand focuses on beverages, butter, cement, detergent, edible oils, flour, refined sugar, soap, and textiles. Dominica their neighbor focuses on a mostly produce clothing, electronic components, footwear, and leather goods, which are assembled. The raw materials or semi-manufactured goods are usually imported duty-free from other emerging markets, electronic parts are imported from industrialized Puerto Rico, and assembled in the free trade zones. Guyana manufacturing industry focuses on sugar, rice, timber, and minerals such as bauxite, gold and diamonds. Chemicals and chemical products, foodstuffs, and computers and electronics. Due to the capacity of most Caribbean country to produce products is considered relatively limited, their import bill tend to be more than their export earnings. So, what are some of the main factors influencing manufacturing? The manufacturing process is a complex one that can be impacted by many factors, supplies, equipment, factory overhead, the need for special parts, and the people who work at all points in the process. Raw Materials and Supplies Many manufacturers depend on raw materials supplied from outside sources. Some of the factors that can delay or hamper a regular delivery schedule include a glitch at the site of a supply source problems with transportation or inclement weather. If supplies are not forthcoming as needed, the potential for shutdown or a major slowdown in the manufacturing process can result. Alternatively, a smooth supply operation and well-managed inventory promote production as scheduled. Machinery and Equipment When a manufacturing process involves complex machines to complete production, a temporary malfunction or a breakdown in an intricate piece of equipment can affect the manufacturing process. Identifying means of improving efficiency of all working parts of production promotes a continual and more efficient operation. Positioning of equipment and the personnel required to operate machines can also affect production. In a paper on manufacturing cycle times, 
Mander M. Chinkulker of Intel Corporation and several of his academic and research colleagues explain the concept of process drift, which they describe as a common occurrence in manufacturing processes where machines fail to function properly due to lack of cleaning. Factory Overhead and Utilities Manufacturers depend on utilities to power machines, cool equipment and light the workspace in their factories. Even a temporary shutdown of the power supply or lack of a steady water source can impact production, thus affecting the manufacturing process. In addition, management style can have a significant impact on production in both negative and positive ways. Made to order parts In the textbook Operations Management Professors are Dan Reed of the University of New Hampshire and Nada R. Sanders of Lehigh University posit conformance to specifications as one definition of quality in manufacturing. They cite as an example the situation of machine parts being built to specs. Here, an unforeseen change in made-to-order parts can have a significant impact on the manufacturing process, especially if the parts are shipped over long distances from off-site. Disparities in quality may require multiple orders for the same inventory, resulting in delays and temporary slowdowns or shutdowns of the manufacturing process. Available Labor and Human Error The workforce, especially touch labor, the workers directly involved in the manufacturing process, can affect that process in many ways. For example, Sick days and vacations taken by key personnel must be figured into production to prevent a negative impact on manufacturing. An intangible factor that affects the manufacturing process and is dealt with after the fact is human error. Alternatively, human insight into a manufacturing process leading to more labor-efficient and cost-effective methods of production can affect the manufacturing process in a positive way. For example, in a paper published by MIT, William C. Jordan and Stephen C. Graves cite flexibility as a key strategy in improving the manufacturing process. This involves being able to manufacture different products in the same plant at the same time. What are some tentative benefits of manufacturing for any country? A vibrant manufacturing base leads to more research and development, innovation, productivity, exports, and middle-class jobs. Manufacturing helps raise living standards more than any other sector. Manufacturing generates more economic activity than other sectors. What are possible disadvantages of manufacturing to the Caribbean? Unless you discovered that an existing manufacturing business that had been on the verge of closing its doors, but which then started a company from the ground up can require enormous capital and financing. Locating a building, or even more expensive, Building and outfitting your own plant and purchasing equipment can amount to high six figures, if not in the millions of dollars. In addition, you must purchase your production inputs, meaning the stock you need to produce your end product. Licensing, trademarks and patents aren't cheap, but hiring counsel to represent your interests throughout the process could be pricey. In all, your costs, direct, indirect, Variable and fixed costs, are factors that can quickly send the price tag of a new manufacturing company into the stratosphere. Startup costs can definitely be a disadvantage, but on the other hand, instead of purchasing equipment outright, consider leasing equipment and renting space. This can help you avoid the exorbitant costs of outright purchasing. There are several advantages associated with manufacturing. I will merely mention them and suggest that you try reading additional information on each. Manufacturing will increase the rate on employment within any given location, local or overseas. This in turn should improve the basic standard of living for those employed within specific manufacturing industry. Each employee will now have more spending power with the monies being earned. In addition to the increase in employment rate. This will surely improve a country's GDP and GNP. Through manufacturing the government is able to collect taxes which will be helped to fuel the general economy of the same country. Most manufacturing country do have overseas investors. With overseas investors comes increase in flow of foreign exchange. For those companies focused on exporting, they also generate foreign exchange earnings for the country. 
This will improve the country's capacity to trade using foreign exchange in the international market. Manufacturing industries usually introduce new technology within the space in which the manufacturing is taking place. The addition of new technology aid in the development of the employee's knowledge on the advancement of how things are produced. With manufacturing come several issues. These include but are not limited to the, the repatriation of profit earned by the business to the country in which the owners own country. As a result profits are not reinvested in the country in which production did take place. In addition to the listed advantages, several manufacturing companies add to the poor state of our ecosystem. Several manufacturing companies are guilty of producing pollutants. These pollutants exist in our air, water sources along with noise pollutants. This has impacted negatively on the health of several persons throughout the Caribbean. Another negative implication of manufacturing within the Caribbean is that the workforce is now being replaced with technology. Machines are now replacing the actual worker in the workplace. The Caribbean manufacturing sectors are diverse. The diversities in manufactured products are based primarily on the capacity of country to produce specific goods. Before you leave this share, please remember to like share and subscribe this video and leave a comments in the comments section. Thanks for tuning in.